Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Bridgewater Triangle Paranormal Investigators. Tonight we are here at Shad Factory in Rehoboth, also known as Orleans Manufacturing Company. It was an old cotton mill built in the year 1810 and it actually caught fire and burnt down in 1831 and they rebuilt it and it ended up burning down again in the year 1884 for the last time. There are ruins of the walls of what remains of the old cotton factory that we're about to head over to and people have claimed to see an apparition of a man coming from the walls and then he disappears people have claimed to also see orbs too floating around so we're gonna go check it out and see what we can come up with and the shad factory is over by the Palmer River right over here and that's where we're about to head over to right here here's part of the wall What remains of the Shad Factory, also known as the uh, Orleans Manufacturing Company. Can you tell me how the fire started? I'm having trouble hearing you. Can you tell me how the fire started? How many passed away in the fire? How can we find you? Are you right next to us? I am your chills. Real cold chills, dude. I got a chill too. Yeah. Are you right here with us? It's me and Paul both got a chill. What? I need to call crazy. Again. Off from 719 to 71.7, like boom, 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 like fluctuating real fast. That's what I was telling you about. Like, it just has to be a fact. So, I think this is part of the factory over here. Uh, I do see. It looks like a wall. Oh, this is creepy. Definitely creepy. What's through here? This is creepy. Let's see if I can keep going. I can. So shall we keep going? Oh fuck yeah. That's got to touch your 71 degrees, it's kinda of warm out it tonight. Is warm yeah, though. for November. It's definitely warm though. How much blocked off is it? Blocked off pretty good. So the meter just went off I, I just right here that. in this spot. Something's over here. Hello? Can you communicate with us? Look, there's part of the walls up ahead. Yep. What's left of the factory? Yeah. Wow. Oh, we're on, on the side of the wall. Yeah. That's why we're like inside. Hello? Can you talk with us? We're not here to hurt you. Can you tell us what it's like maybe on the other side? What is your name? See everyone, there's part of the walls right there. How did we not see that? These walls are on the trail over there. I know, right? That's I know. Right. Yeah, it is weird. Have to go around it. So, guys, we found another wall that remains. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's part of the the wall, but the ground's getting very, very moist. Yeah, we're getting closer to the river. 
Yeah, so I don't think we can actually go any further than this. So we got the spirit box wrong. Did you work in this factory? I said, yeah. I heard that. Do you want to talk with us? How long have you been deceased? Can you tell me? Can you tell us your name? Do you want me to go closer? Can you say my name? My name is Harry. This is what remains of the factory. Can you speak more clearer? You can sit down and have a conversation with you if you like. Do you want to sit down and have a conversation? Can you give us a sign that you're here? Anything. So I'm going to try to find an old picture on Google of what this place looked like back in the 1800s. I don't know if I'll be able to find one. Alright, so, we got this wall. Alright, I'm trying to picture what what it looked like before. Right? We well, I guess this thing burnt down twice. Twice? Twice. Alright, so, we got a wall here. Right Were there. you injured in the fire? Did you pass away in the fire? Do you not want us here? Is this something that you need from us? Can we help you with anything? Can you show yourself? Can you tell us how much you got paid back then? I know minimum wage was cheap. Did you have any families you left behind? You're free to say anything you want. How was work today? They're good. He's saying, yeah, and this thing's going friggin' haywire, dude. Would you ask it? Are you here with us right now? Like, immediately right here. He's saying, yeah, and this thing's going What, nuts. the media fluctuated? Oh, big time, dude. Can you tell me how many of you worked in this factory? Could I shake your hand? Are you shaking my hand right now? Paul's a laborer too. A lot of people have claimed to see you. Is that true? Are you not able to pass on? If you see a bright light, step into it. Are you following us? Can you tell us what your job description was? So we just missed it, but off camera the meter went off. Hello? It was like for a second, that's it. It did go off though. Will you talk with us? So, Paul, you ask it questions, and I'll listen. The spirit box up to my ear. Okay. Are you coming closer to us? Can you come close enough to shake my hand? What did you say? Said no. Are you afraid of us? What was your job title? Did you enjoy it? 
How many hours did you work a week? I just saw something. It said 15, I think. Yeah? I, I, I thought I just saw something. It was like just a quick flash. Like right there. All the way at the end. But that was it. Just, just when I asked it. So I know. Oh, this thing's going down, down, down quick. He is getting close. He's getting closer to us. Are you a man or a woman? I heard a woman's voice coming through on this. Do you? Yeah. Can you give us a sign that you're here with us? It sounded like it said, yeah, maybe. I, I didn't hear the yeah, but I did hear maybe. He's moving further away. I think we're scaring him away. This thing's going higher and higher. We're about to leave. Last chance to show yourself. I'm sorry if you passed away in this fire. So this is probably the tallest wall Looks that like remains it. of the Shad Factory. So we are on our way out. We're leaving. Thank you for speaking with us. Can you, can you say goodbye? Whoa. This meter just went off. Yeah. I was just going to ask her if you could say good. It just went off again. Hello? I was just going to ask her if you could say goodbye. You can do it. Hello? Thank you for talking to us. Do you not want us to leave? Are you, are you giving us a sign? You didn't see that? You didn't catch on camera? What? I don't know. I was, I was looking up here and it looked like a shadow like went by my shoulder but at the same time went that way. Like, I, I don't know. I caught out the freaking... Well, the meter did go off too earlier. Like, about 10 seconds ago. Well, the meter's not going off right now and people have claimed to see an apparition of a man and he disappears. Maybe he just doesn't feel comfortable communicating with us. I don't know. But sometimes spirits just don't want to be seen either sometimes, you know? And the shadow was where? Right here? Yeah, like... Like right there. Like ran in there. I, I caught it out the, uh... Corner side, of your eye? Yeah, my, the corner of my eye. It looked like it went past my shoulder, but like in there. And I was in... I was like five feet away from it. Okay, so there's many key factors that come into play on why cotton mills caught on fire back in the day. Let's not forget, cotton is very flammable. You had to oil the machinery to keep it lubricated, and the oils were very flammable. You have the friction from the machinery, the sparks breaking through the machinery, and not to mention the gas-powered lighting. Alright, so I couldn't find any records anywhere to show of anyone dying in the fire. However, though, I did ask, were you injured in the fire? And there was a voice that came through in the spirit box saying, yup. Followed by another voice saying, help. So I think that these factory workers still are dwelling where the factory remains, thinking that they're still at work. Right Were you injured in the fire? Now this is interesting. A voice came through on the spirit box saying, which did die? So I think maybe some of the spirits that still dwell there don't know which one of their fellow employees maybe have passed on. Now we did pick up a voice saying, hurry. Now I know back then it was a quick hustle in those kind of work environments, or maybe they were referring to hurry up and put out the fire. Alright, so now let's go back and review the rest of the clips from when we were doing a spare box session. Did you work in this factory? How was work today? So good. How many hours did you work a week? I just saw something. It said 15, I think. Yeah? I, I, I thought I just saw something, so it was like just a quick flash. Can you give us a sign that you're here with us? It sounded like it said, yeah, maybe. I, I didn't hear the yeah, but I did hear maybe.
Now that meter went off multiple times, which would indicate we were not alone. Something was there with us. So the meter just went off I, I just right here that. on this spot. We're leaving. Thank you for speaking with us. Can you, can you say goodbye? Whoa. This meter just went off. Yeah. I was just going to ask her if you could say good. And after that meter went off, Paul did say he saw a shadow run by him real fast. You didn't see that? You didn't catch on camera? What? I don't know. I was, I was looking up here and it looked like a shadow like went by my shoulder, but at the same time went that way. So honestly, these spirits that still dwell here maybe feel as if they're still at work at the old cotton mill. I definitely don't think that this place is haunted by any kind of evil spirits.